All right, the name of the app is Textune. It's a copy of I got a copy of Pixel App because it's um, the same thing with Pixel App, so it's an alternative. So um, you press Get Started and um, you you come here and you go to Start. So you can download it from Play Store. So um, you see, it's just like Pixel App. You come here you, you, to remove the background and of course just color sample. Okay, and then. Um, it's just like pixel app so if you know pixel app you won't um you won't um struggle to use it so let me just take this so um and see let's go to invoice now invoice look at invoice here you see no issue doesn't give you any it won't affect it even 3d test so you can use it now um it's either you want to use this one to design you are designing the flyer everything whatever you're designing with texture if you want to just design the text with that means you want to just t um create the 3d effect with this or the emboss effect whatever you want to do with the text that means you want to create your text that means you create it with you create your text with test tune and then you export so let's say i want to create uh, i'm just going to do um you know it's not going to be um an actual um design also so let's just work something so let's say i, I just want this now um, so I just, just this and um, so um, let me just add color to it. And then let me say I just want something like this. You must use transparent. The background must be. Don't don't give your, don't give it color because we just want the text. So after this, I'm just gonna save, save as image, as PNG of course. Then take very high and then you save to gallery. So after that. We go to our pixel lab, we go to our pixel lab and then we import that same design. So this was what we created with Textune and here is it now. So we have it here. Pretty easy, right? So you can now continue your order work. Alright, so I'll be showing you another method now. But before I do that, um, you know, um, some persons will tell you to do something like this. After it, after you've written your test, you you um okay, you come to embosh. You come to emboss and you activate it and you know it's gonna show something like this then they'll say um take a shape and they take a shape and then you know just hide the shape you see what i'm doing i hold the shape now in this um in this um edit menu you won't leave this place before pressing okay so you're gonna take it out you see you can either move it here as i'm moving it upward uh you can be here you can be here anywhere but make sure you hide it and then they'll say um merge the ship now you're gonna see something like this so it's gonna work you see it's no longer the the um, issue the error there is no longer the emboss error is no longer there but um well and note that um everything i'm showing you in this video it still applies to um ships. that means um you can use this to um correct um to fix the issue if you apply emboss um to shape or 3d effect you get so it's still the same thing so now um i said some persons will tell you to do it this way but the, the thing is that um and okay before i say what i want to say now if for example you did it and um you did it and the um the uh, the issue is still there what you do is you reduce the size before merging you reduce the size for example now let's say um we have something like this let's say uh, okay let's say we have something like this and then um and then i match and then i match then i match and it still didn't work you see it, it didn't work that is because when when it's like this what you do is when you have you have this what you do then is um you try to reduce the size or increase the size but i think it's better you reduce it so you try reducing it and you know before before merging with the shape now why this works what they don't tell you is that since you have mesh both layers you can't edit the effect <laughs> yes since you have mesh both layers you can't edit the effect moreover if you were to go to the emboss or 3d feature again it would be as if you had not um enabled it you had not enabled it before so that's why it is not the best this is what i'm talking about if we go to emboss now it's as though um um <laughs> we 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 did not um 
enable it before that's because you have mesh both shape you have mesh both shape so um if we were to say we want to go and enable it again the same thing will happen so this they, they don't tell you this <laughs> so it is not the best i would only suggest you do this when you are setting you won't be making any adjustment that means when you are setting that you won't be coming to to um this emboss to or if it's 3d you're doing um that that you won't be coming um you won't be coming here you get so um you have to be sure so before you merge before you do this at all if you are using this method before you merge ensure that um if ensure that uh you have um applied all the effect you want to apply but then again it's not the best it's not the best method once you have taken your text like this once you have taken your text um you come here you apply the emboss now it's going to show this all right but what you do now you see this um place here you see this place here this um node here you use this node to adjust it until just like when you are you are tuning for a better frequency you get a better signal so um once you see that it's like this what you do is just don't use this place because if you use this other one too it still helps but it's gonna um cause distortion so don't use that one so use only this one here use only this one here so it's just like you are tuning for a better frequency so you hold it and then adjust till you see if you notice that you got it and then you see I've, I've, I've taken it to a perfect um the bet let me call it a better frequency now you see it's like this but if it's still adjust it now you know you have moved past that one so you take it back you take it back you see until you get it so if you just notice you have passed it just take it back take it back you see i'm just showing you now but it's easy for me to do because if i just you just hold it until once you see that you are getting it just leave it now maybe you have gotten what you want and while designing you want to resize it's still the same thing once you, maybe you resize and you see that uh you are spoiled no problem just do the same thing and till you get till you get it again or if you want to still resize there's still you can still get it so i'm reducing it now i'm reducing, maybe i want it to be this small ah you see i've gotten it so anyway it works so now you can see we can add um tvd effect and it's going to work well so this is the tvd effect you see it's, it's working well so we have our tvd effect so it's like um what um user android users uh, fashion nine below enjoy so you see but once again if you adjust it and you notice it's it's point you know what to do right so you, you whether you are reducing it just make sure that wash till you get that perfect one and then leave it